hate him. And yet, I love him. Don't worry, we're confused too. Let's jump into the full story of Arnold and Helga. Move it, football head! Hey, Arnold! Okay, we all know the gist, right? Helga's secretly in love with Arnold. Arnold, you make my girlhood tremble. Arnold is oblivious, and Helga is super mean to him all the time. And yet, maybe this love story has a chance. But how did it all begin? Hi, nice bow. Huh? I like your bow because it's pink like your pants. Believe it or not, this long and twisted path of love began way back in preschool. After not getting much attention at home, Helga was completely enthralled with Arnold's compassion toward her. Want mine? I wish we could end this video here, but sadly, Helga not only discovered her love for Arnold, but also her love for bullying. I'm the boss around here, got it? And thus began a love-hate relationship that would have put Romeo and Juliet to shame. Hold up, we're gonna get to that. First, let's take a look at the moment we discovered there was any hope in this relationship, even if Helga was kind of a huge jerk. I'm here to get an easy A for this science fair thing. You know, lie in a hammock, eat junk food, catch some rays, watch some TV. While Arnold and Helga were working on a science project together, all chaos broke loose, and this pair found themselves in a pool of trouble. <gasps> no! Did you see some sparks fly there? Maybe Arnold was just feeling grateful for being saved. Or maybe it was more than that. Of course, it wouldn't last long, especially since Arnold already had his eye on someone else. Well, there it is. Man, that is some piece of work. Yeah, and I can't wait to give it to Ruth. Wait, who the heck was Ruth? Ruth? She's making a valentine for Ruth McDougal? She's nothing but a stuck-up, sixth-gradey, training bra-wearing, bracing-faced, sixth-gradey, sixth-grader. Ruthless. After learning Arnold would ask Ruth out, Helga had to come up with a plan quick. So she did what any totally sane lovebird would do. She decided to pretend to be his French pen pal, Cecile, and set up a date with him on the same night he had a date with Ruth. Have you ever noticed that sometimes when you think you like a person from far away, you find out they're not what you thought they were when you get up close? What do you mean? Well, there's this girl I thought I liked, but then it turned out that when I got to know her, we had nothing in common. If only he knew. In the end, Helga's plan was foiled by the real Cecile, who showed up revealing Helga as a fake. But in true Arnold oblivious fashion, he never caught on that the girl he was dating was in fact Helga. There's one thing I still don't understand. Who are you? I, um, I can't tell you. Why not? I just can't, that's all, okay? Well, we'll always have Chez Perry. So while he never actually knew it was Helga, Arnold was clearly developing some feelings toward his bully. But Helga had had enough. Her love for Arnold and determination to keep it a secret was too much. I want to be out of love. Is that possible? Oh, yeah. Okay. Describe the person or thing. Well, he's a boy. A weird, kind of quiet, kind of stupid, amazing boy. With a big heart and no sense of reality. Oh, and a football-shaped head. Here you go, toots. Drink this tonight, right after you say the name of the one that you wish to love no more. Really? That's all I have to do? Yeah, that's all you... Oh, well, pay me ten bucks, of course. Somehow, the potion worked, and Helga had convinced herself that Arnold was nothing special. This left Helga feeling empty and desperate for her love back. Good thing grape soda wasn't too strong of a potion. Take this spell off me and let me love again! Honey, relax, relax. That potion is nothing but grape juice, chamomile, and a little ginseng for flavor. Huh? It's just a homemade concoction. There's nothing keeping you from loving anybody. It was just grape juice. There's no spell. I get to be in love with Arnold again. Oh, joy. Oh, bless. Oh, oh, blessed placebo that restored my faith in you. <laughs> Go 
showing you, little yellow-haired shrimp. Oh, uh, sorry, Helga. Well, things were certainly back to normal, just in time for Thanksgiving, which also just so happens to be the perfect time for love. Oh, Arnold, Arnold. Helga? Arnold? What are you doing here? Stop creeping up on me, you little creep. Sorry. I mean, why aren't you at home enjoying the holiday with your eccentric but oh-so-lovable boarding house family? It was all getting a little weird. So, I left. <laughs> Join the club, football head. Things were even worse at my house. Get a load of this. Arnold and Helga bonded over their horrible Thanksgivings and learned a valuable lesson together, which was that sometimes things aren't perfect, but their families were always there for them. Happy Thanksgiving, Helga. Was Arnold developing some feelings for Helga? Did he finally understand that she loved him all this time? Sounds like maybe she likes you, Arnold. Helga? Are you kidding? Come on, Arnold. She always picks on you in particular. Sometimes I see her jumping rope in front of the house like she was waiting for you to come out or something. Yeah, so she can call me football head and yuts and paste uh, for brains. Hey, uh -huh, see? That's my point. That's crazy, Grandpa. She hates me. Maybe not. However, soon Helga wouldn't be able to hide that love. Being the genius she is, she decided to take advantage of a school play. Remember that Romeo and Juliet clip from earlier? I'm awarding you the position of fourth understudy for the part of Juliet. What's that in English? That means that in the unlikely event that Rhonda, Sheena, Phoebe, and Lila are all, for whatever reason, unable to perform the part, then you will play Juliet. So what you're saying is, if they all drop out, then I'm Juliet. That's right, but I should caution you that the odds of all four girls dropping out of the play are pretty unlikely. I don't want you to get your hopes up. Who needs hopes when you have tactics? Of course, Helga found a way to get every other Juliet to drop out of the play, including spilling her guts to Arnold's crush. I'm sorry, Helga, you're mumbling. I like Arnold! Oh, I'm head over heels, hook, line, and sinker over the moon! I had a funny feeling you liked him. So can I have the part? Of course, Helga. Thanks. Oh, and remember, if you tell anyone, <sighs> I promise. Finally, Helga had her chance to make a move on Arnold without any repercussions. Okay, girls, this is it. The kiss. she made it a little obvious. By now, it seemed the only way Helga could escape her love for Arnold was on vacation. Bob, Miriam, and a skanky old shack hours away from Arnold. Helga? <gasps> Arnold? What are you doing here, football head? My grandpa brought us for the week. Wow, talk about a coincidence. <laughs> yeah, well, don't get any weird ideas about getting all chummy with me or anything, hair boy. I mean, just because we're staying in the same beach house doesn't mean we're suddenly friends or something. Oh, what could possibly go wrong here? Well, for starters, Arnold could end up falling for a girl. My name's Summer. What's yours? Arnold. Well, Arnold, you must be a great artist because that's the best sandcastle I've ever seen. I bet you'd be a shoo-in at the sandcastle competition at the beach festival this weekend. Sandcastle competition? Now remember, Helga, just stick to the plan. Apologize to Arnold, even if it kills you. Well, you really should think about it, Arnold, because you do awesome things with sand. And in the meantime, you can show me around the beach, since I'm new around here. I've never been here before either. Perfect. Helga wouldn't go down without a fight, though. There's nothing quite like a nice, relaxing beach vacation, torturing your crush and the girl he's spending time with. If you're through being mean to me in summer for no reason at all, I'd really appreciate it if you take your own advice and just stay out of my way. For good. This was seeming like the end for Helga and Arnold, especially since it was the first time Arnold truly stood up to her without backing down. Unbeknownst to Arnold, Summer was actually double-crossing him to win the Sandcastle competition. Luckily, Helga was still there to help him figure that out. So you sure he doesn't have a clue? Arnold? No way. He's pathetic. He's in love with me. I could probably get him to build me five sandcastles. But we just need one, baby. I know. One sandcastle, we get first prize, I totally blow off Arnold, and get to be on Baywatch. This plan worked out so perfectly. Mm. I'm sorry, Arnold. Things were looking better again. It's not like they were gonna get married, but their friendship was rekindled, and things were getting back to normal. Wait, 
Now that I've mentioned marriage... My gosh! What? What? You're going to marry Helga. Helga? Helga. Me? Oh, oh, that's impossible. There's no way I could ever marry Helga. You must have made a mistake. There's no mistake, Arnold. My test is absolutely foolproof. You're going to marry Helga G. Pataki, period. <laughs> Even though Arnold and Helga have a long time to figure themselves and their futures out, we couldn't help but feel hopeful that those futures included them together. And we finally got a glimpse of what Arnold and Helga could look like as a married couple. Your eyes are like two diamonds, shining brightly amidst the sky of pale blue heaven. <laughs> okay, so that was through Helga's dream. But what about Arnold's? I may be rough around the edges, but deep down I'm a good person and I don't hate you. Heck, I, I like you so much that you might say that I actually love... Uh, that I actually love... Hey Arnold, 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 hey Arnold. So maybe there is a future for this couple. And even though they didn't technically end up together, it's pretty obvious that there were always sparks between them. I mean, who knows? Perhaps they're married after all. Can you imagine anything more ridiculous? I mean, they couldn't be more opposite. If they actually got married, oof, what would that be like? Ugh. 